Shalom and welcome to our series of emotions. We've been looking at how emotions is a God-given gift and we're also learning from scripture that we are not to suppress our emotions but bring it freely before God. Today, we're going to be looking at another aspect of our feelings. Often, we have found that when we are in a difficult stage of life, we make decisions as a result of how we feel. We may, we may choose to say something uh, curt to someone when we are angry, or we may choose to walk out on a relationship when we are upset, or we may tend to even make promises, false promises, when we are happy or when we are excited. Very often, we find that we are guided by our feelings and our emotions. We need to know that we are called to live by faith and not by our emotions. You know, especially when we feel hopeless or when we are worthless or we feel uncared for, we think that those feelings are our facts but they are not truths about who we are. But they, what we need to begin to see is that these feelings that we have are not intended to guide us. Feelings are more a gauge for us, but we need to ensure that God is our guide. God is the one who helps us make those decisions when we are distraught or when we are overwhelmed. Our feelings should not be what drives our decisions. It must be our trust in God and the power of the Holy Spirit that helps us make those important decisions when we are in an emotionally distraught state. Scripture teaches us in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Sometimes we are unable to control our own emotions and our feelings, but we do have control over how we respond. We do have a choice of how we react as Paul said, says, let's intentionally cast down all that exalts itself against who God is. So sometimes when those negative emotions come up, when those negative emotions arise within us, we need to recognize them and cast them down and bring them into the captivity of the obedience of Christ. When we choose to respond this way, we are allowing God to enter into our decisions and the way that we feel. God is to be our guide and not our emotions. We must choose not to allow our emotions to be the drive behind our decisions, but it should be the pursuit of Christ. It should be His Word, His truth, that is the basis for all our decisions. So today, if you are distraught, if you are overwhelmed, remember to pause a minute, pause a while, and uh, take to captive, cast down everything that comes as um, something that exalts itself against God. Give it to God and ask Him to be the guide to help you make those decisions through your difficult time. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we commit ourselves before you. Thank you because you have taught, given us these emotions as a gauge and not a guide. May we always look to you as our guide, as the one who can give us every help for our decisions. May we look to you and keep our feelings in check, may we be careful of the way that we react. Thank you for being with us and guiding us. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.